Hello and welcome to Amethyst Star Crafting. My name is Jane Allmark and I'm a UK independent stamping up demonstrator. And today we're going to do something a little bit different. I've got this box. Um, my son and daughter-in-law bought me a, an amazing hamper for Christmas. And um, in the hamper there were some, I think there were some sweets of some sort in here. Um, but it's a really rather lovely wooden box. And I thought, it seems a shame to throw it away. So I've taken all the, um, you know, packaging and, and stuff off it. And I thought that it would make a lovely little um, jewellery box or a trinket box or a, or a something box. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to do something with that. So I thought rather than do it on my own, um, I'd come on and I'd share it with you and see where we go with it. So I'm using some designer series paper and I've chosen the Dainty Flowers, which is the 12 by 12, which was free in the Celebration catalogue, runs to the end of February. By the time this video comes out, it'll probably be over. However, if you've got bits over, you can obviously decorate something. So what I did was I've done a little bit of prep beforehand. So I took the lid and I basically put it down on the designer series paper and drew round it. So I have got this. So that's going to be going to go over the top like that. Then I've taken um, some little pieces which are going to go round the side. So those are going to go round the side and I've literally just cut it in the strip. You can see I've got sandpaper because we need to roughen it and make it look probably a little bit vintage maybe. And then I've cut these pieces which are going to go on the bottom. I'm not going to put anything on the bottom of here because I'll probably put a piece of felt but I haven't completely decided. Um, I might put felt because I think that's quite nice if you're doing a jewellery box and then I'll coordinate it with some felt inside. But I haven't thought that far ahead. So the first piece I'm going to do is these pieces round the side because if I put this on first and then put the, um, the lid of the box on, it means that I can... Um, line it up better so i'm using wet glue because i like wet glue wet glue sticks to just about everything you could use um red line tape you could use tear and tape um but as i say for me i really like wet glue so i need to make sure that we've got the design coming up and i'm only doing a bit at a time because i want it to just stick on where I want it so and again you know you can do this with anything that you've got really um, you know you can make your own boxes but I think a lot of us are given various things and we think oh shall we um, shall we save them shall we and as I say it's quite nice to do sort of little home decor things you know you could even just do it and fill it with some truffles or something for Easter um, but as I say, I think a little trinket box will be quite nice. So um, that's what the idea of it is. So you can see this is not going to go all the way round. But we can cut off what we need and splice it through. And it just, as I say, do a little bit at a time. And once we've got to the end, I can splice another piece on so I'm just making sure that like everything when you're gluing something that you've got your tops and your bottoms done really well because those are the bits that are going to um, peel off if you haven't glued them well so just make sure you've got a good amount of glue on the top and the bottom Okay, so that's going to come down to there. And then the next little piece is this piece. And I want to try and sort of, have I got something that will take it near to that particular flower or do I just take it on from there? I think I, if I take it on from there, it's not going to make much difference because of the way the pattern is. So I need to make sure that I've got this part glued well down. 
and then I need to make sure that I've got this the seams going to butt up to each other so just need to make sure that that's done quite nicely and it's taken all the way over on here um, but yes I'm I'm was very spoiled at Christmas I'm always very spoiled at Christmas by my my sons and daughter-in-laws and grandchildren um, and so you know when you're given something that's as pretty as this as a box you sort of think oh that would make a nice uh, nice idea excuse me reaching across I'm just going to get my snips because I want to make sure that I've got this exactly where I want it so I'm taking my snips to the side on that piece so I know that it will come exactly where we want it and again making sure we've got enough glue right up to that edge and then I can take it in and make sure that that's done nicely on there so that's our edge and as I say it doesn't matter if it comes over the top at, at all because we can rough it up and take those edges away and again with anything like this I don't suppose it's completely symmetrical but I'm just literally running my finger across to make sure that it's as tight as I can on the top and the bottom so that I can make sure that it's as I say stuck exactly where I want it that's where the seam is which is good so that's that piece now I'm going to put the lid on it or the top so I need to really put the seam let's find this seam there's the seam the seam's going to go at the back and then I'm going to put the design in on the front only because I don't really want to have the um the seam at the front showing now if you wanted to you could put ribbon and things on there and make it as fancy as you want but I don't want to make it particularly fancy um, you know I want it pretty but I don't want too much twiddly stuff on it okay so I think I've got just about enough glue on there so that's going to come in on here and I just need to make sure that I get it exactly round on those edges where I want it. And that's the nice thing that you can see about the um, Tombow is that it goes down perfectly. If you use a, um, a sort of a PVA glue you can find that it'll bobble a bit whereas this goes absolutely as smooth as anything which is beautiful and as I say I've got the print going around the side but I've used different papers because if I use this large print on here you wouldn't have seen very much of it at all okay so that's my top bit I'm going to let that dry for a bit before we start sanding and smoothing the edges and I'm going to take this piece and put this on on here now um, I'm gluing sometimes I glue the box sometimes I'll glue the paper really depends on the type of material it is um, this is quite a says me I might be running out of glue on here a oh, little bit left um, it's one of those things that if you um, want to have really good adhesion it's all about the materials you use and as I say the um, Tombow really is in my opinion the best glue that you can get well it says me throwing it all over the place um, it is as I say I don't think I've found a glue as good um, you know it never it never buckles and it never makes um, yes it can be a bit sticky sometimes but it's um, I think I'm getting to the end I've got more glue I'm just using up the tail ends of this as well because this is 
just the end pieces and it doesn't really matter that I'm just using up the end bits on here. Do it down to there and I can take this piece on. But as I say, you can see how beautifully smooth it's going on. It also makes a big difference on the paper as well. Um, you know, the, the quality of the paper with stamping up, you know if you put it on, it's going to be just perfect. So I'm literally down to the last dregs of this. So I'm just making sure that I use all of it. I can hear there's only fresh air on there. So I'm just going to put this piece down like that for a minute. And then I will take, that one can go in the bin. Take my next one out. That one I think is has got more in. Um, as you know, I'm always, it's the only glue that I use. So, um, no, tell a lie. I do use the um, stamp and seal if I'm putting ribbon on things because uh, wet glue is one of the only things it's not good for is um, trying to put ribbon and stuff on. Okay, now I need to make sure that I've got the glue up here on the side. We can just smooth that down. And give that a really good smooth in on there because I want to make sure that those seams are nice and tight. Then we can put the next piece on. And again, I need to make sure that this glue is right tight up against the edge. So it's important to just have it nice and tight. And I'm just gonna take it up to this piece in on here and make sure that I've got quite a bit in there. Go. and then we can put this second piece in take it again right where the seam is and then just take it along there that's the only thing is that my fingers are a little bit sticky with the glue but what I'm doing is where that seam is there I can actually feel where it is, so I'm just literally taking that up so I can then make sure that I've got that running perfectly in on that side like that. And again, I'm going to do exactly the same thing, make sure along the bottom that I've got it glued as tightly as I can. You can see there's a little bit of... Um, Bear where it needs to just be pushed across and then take it up to the top do exactly the same if you look through from the top you can see whether it goes in perfectly okay so that's that bit that's going to go on like that and I just need to make sure that it does that's the back of there make sure that it will fit yes it will which I think looks really pretty like that. So now we want to, I just want to take the edges and on here, all I'm going to do is, I'm just going to, with some um, sandpaper, is just sand off where that edge comes there. Because then it, It makes it look as if it's actually part of the box. So if you just take, and you can do it with any sort of box that you like. Um, it's because the, our paper is good quality that you can do it quite easily and it doesn't rip. If you're using very fine paper or even if you're sort of decoupaging, it doesn't work quite as well. But when you're doing something like this, you can literally just rough over the edges. You can see on here how it's coming just quite nicely. If 
and then you just work your way across you can do it side to side like this or you can do it just down like that which I will probably do once I've got the the majority of it off so I'm just using just some coarse sandpaper if you haven't got any sandpaper you can use an emery board you know nail file just take it round so I'm just going all the way around on here and you can see you do get quite a bit of um, what you call it um, little bits of the paper coming off which is fine which is exactly what we want so you just take it all the way around and you can see the difference how it's it's giving a nice sort of curved edge um, what I'll probably do is I'm just going to grab some kitchen rolls excuse me just a second while I just walk in and grab got a little piece of kitchen roll here because then I can make sure that I'm smoothing it off as I go um, and again take it down on the side if I want you can probably see how it's just you just take that edge and that's why you need good glue but as I say, if you're using Tombow, it's very easy to use that sort. And exactly as, you're, as you would use a nail file. Um, and it's only because I've got some sandpaper that I'm using this sandpaper. It's probably a little bit coarse, but I think it'll be okay. And then, as I say, just literally take it round on there. Just work your way round. I'm doing this quite quickly just to sort of show you, but you know, take a little bit of time because then it does it does look as if it's literally the whole box is made rather than it being covered in the paper. Now you can if you want to. And I might do, I might not. This paper is really lovely as it is. But if I wanted to, I could then put some... Um, PVA glue over the top to seal it. Or just some varnish over the top. If you've got um, nail varnish, that clear nail varnish, that can work. Or as I say, just some... Um, any form of sort of paint varnish or uh, PVA glue will work on there but you can see now I've worked that round I'm just going to take my cloth and just give it a quick wipe over I hope you can see on there that the edges have just come off beautifully on there just a little bit let me just clear this up a second don't want it all over my table it's very good this table because I can just polish it and clean it afterwards quite easily so I don't worry too much about it um, so let me look at this again and look and go okay right I really quite like that now do I want to do um, just some distressing on there I've picked up so saffron rather than taking um if i got i got my sponge daubers out already rather than taking a um crumb cake would be too dark but i'm going to just see just on a little scrap piece like this whether i like it or not this has actually got some orangey whatever on here now, I think that that will probably work quite well. I think it's a bit too orange on here. I'm not sure quite what colour that one is. Um, let me just take a, I'm going to take a clear one and just do it with 
this is the so saffron yes now that will actually work beautifully to give that distressed look on there so i'm just going along that seam that i've worked on and all i'm doing now is just giving it and the reason i've chosen so saffron is because this is there's a lot of yellow in there um, excuse me my dog's making silly noises because i think next door's come in as you know she always barks on cue she's a dog that doesn't bark very much at all actually but on cue if she knows i'm busy doing something then she always tends to sort of sit in and wait and go like oh i can hear next door's dogs are about to go out okay so that you can see now how round that edge how pretty that looks so we then need to do let's do the next bit on here i'm just going to seal this bit up because i need to do the whole thing so on this part as well um and i think most of this is i don't think i need to probably hardly sand any of this off at all because i think most of this is just in on the lid anyway so i'm just taking it just at a little bit of an angle and just taking that round because that sort of bit is what we want to do and then i can turn it round you could see what i could see my little dog has literally i've just finished cleaning the what i call my family room and so i have frozen things on the settee all nicely settled up and she's just literally decided to make a nest pull it all down so she can then fall asleep and curl up in the little bit that she wants to i've just realized i've probably got this right off the camera over here you probably couldn't see any of this so let's just bring it over on here was i over no i was here you can see most of it if you couldn't see that little bit then all i was doing was sanding through on the bottom where i was going over to where my little dog was so now i'm going to take this piece whoops and I'm going to go round the bottom of this one. Because then that gives that lovely distressed look on there. So yes, apologies if, it, if there's part of this that's off screen. Then that's only because I was faffing about a bit i think i'm completely in screen now which is good so hopefully i will have a little look at the end and as long as enough of it's in it'll go in right so that looks lovely doesn't it you've now got that look on the lid there then we need to do this bottom part so i'm going to do exactly the same with that all the way around the top all the way around the bottom to give that distressed look and then, as I say, when you put it on top, like that, you've then got this lovely, lovely look. So you've got this on the front. Now, what I am going to do is, and I will probably do a part two for this, I'm going to do lots of the little flowers and things and decorate this more um, and make it really rather special. So this is sort of the basis of it. Um, and again, if you've got any sort of um, boxes and things, in fact, I was just thinking some of the um, camembert boxes that you actually um, put a camembert in would actually make really nice trinket boxes. If you know, if you're in the UK, you know what I mean. Um, this was, as I say, had sweets in, but it just works beautifully. And as I say, I'm going to add some more bits to it and I will come back and show you on another video on a part two so it's not quite so long. So thank you so much for watching me. As always, please stay safe and well.
please be kind and look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye-bye.